loaded with superstition and perverted worship. But after three years, he took the city. I said, the glory is coming back. Somebody getting ready to take cities. Uh, somebody getting ready to show that our God is still alive. Our weak churches are going out. Entertaining churches are getting ready to die. Personalities are getting ready to be disappeared. Ah, but the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory is coming back. He's gonna raise up giants that will let the people know that the God of Oprah Winfrey cannot compare with the God of the King of Kings and the God of the Lord of Lords. Ah, that the God of the universe, it cannot be compared with the God who made the universe. And the Bible said, the Bible said that they stuck the Ark of the Covenant with the Shekinah on equal footing with Dagon. And that's what we do when we come with our strange worship, with our strange fire. We sit it right in the sanctuary. We sing the praises of God with our zodiac signs around our necks. Uh, we raise our hands uh, with all kinds of crazy thoughts in our minds. Uh, we rock to the music uh, when our hearts have not been knitted to God. Uh, and we got away with it for years. And we allowed you to get away, but look what God is getting ready to do. Uh, God is getting ready to knock down gods. The Bible said that when they got up the next morning, Dagon was on his face in front of the Ark of the Covenant and he had to worship God. They thought it was an accident. So they put it back up. Just like some of you think that because God didn't come after you, you can still do your stuff. But I said, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Tell your neighbor, I said, he's coming, he's coming. He may have been silent for a couple of decades, but he's getting ready to rip through the church and he's getting ready to show himself great. Uh, in the old days, all we had to do was hit the door and we would see miracles. Demons would flee. Backsliders will come. Cancers would be healed. And we didn't have to lay hands. Your old mothers would sing a song with our modern instruments. Ain't got nothing but a tambourine and a washboard. But people would be filled with the Holy Ghost all over. That day has been gone, but here it comes again. God is getting ready to move in a biblical way. Come on, sit up your God. Put your God next to him. The next morning, head was cut off. Palms of the hands. He's headless and hands cannot do and he was face down in front of Dagon in front of the Ark of the Covenant and they didn't know what to do but they still wouldn't give up so even though they tried again the Bible said Dagon had to worship Dagon had to prostrate Dagon had to humble himself all flesh all gods, the God of money, the God of power, the God of sex, the God of church politics, the God of fame seeking. There's a fame seeking spirit handing out your cards, kissing up to people so you can become famous in the church. I said, God is getting ready to come through the church because he's looking for people who are not looking for importance, but they got their hands out and ready to serve. Ah, connecting with this, networking with that, passing cards, showing up at the right place. The church has become a place of nothing but politicking, nothing but network trying to get ahead trying to be like this one and trying to be like that one you're seeking your own glory but God is saying I'm getting ready to take my own glory come on move back flesh or oh, y'all don't hear me tonight I said move back flesh here comes God here comes God you don't have to do nothing if God is getting the glory out of your life 
And then the Lord said, oh, so you, I show you that I can knock your guard down, but you don't believe me. So now I got to visit you. Visitation is coming. Visitation is coming. The Bible said they took the Ark of the Covenant. It's getting hot now. Because unrighteous people can't handle his presence. You, you, you notice when the Holy Ghost start moving, some people start getting agitated. And some people, I know they say I preach too long and too much noise and whatever, whatever. And it doesn't take all of that. Because all you have to do is give you five principles and send you home. And you go home with five principles with demons. You understand? So you become successful with a demonic attitude. Huh? You get a new Cadillac and still beating your wife. Jesus. Huh? Come on. You got two businesses and still have the girlfriend on the side. Because uh, we give you principles. Uh, but we don't let you know that God is a holy God. Uh, and God is a righteous God. Uh, and we have filled you up with all kinds of quick schemes of how to become, how to become, how to become. You don't have to become nothing but what God says. Uh, the Bible says, man, be in Christ. Uh, you are already becoming, Lord have mercy, a new creature. All things are passed away. Oh, come on. Somebody's going to be delivered from cussing in here. All things are passed away. Oh, I feel some deliverance in the house. I said all things. Hey. <laughs> oh, I know you all ain't feeling it, but I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I said I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I said I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. There's a new church coming. There's a glorious church coming. And I'm a member of that church. Come on and let me hear you praise him. If you're a member. Oh, my God, help me. Yeah. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. The Bible said that God says, oh, so you don't believe that I'm serious. Oh. You're going to mess with my glory, and I'm not going to say nothing? Oh. You're going to have your agenda, and I'm not going to frustrate it? Oh. I'm now going to come after your health. And I'm coming after your money. Because Dagon was the god of grain, and Dagon was the god of prosperity and the Bible says when they left took it from Ashdod they brought it to Gath and God now had sent emroids now if you don't know what emroids is you go by preparation H <laughs> and anyone who has ever had emroids you know exactly how painful and uncomfortable. But the original didn't say just hemorrhoids, it said tumors. It means boils, painful swelling, in secret place. Ooh, my, 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 my. Can't nobody do it like God. Can't nobody do it like God. And some things are happening to people and they're keeping it a secret. But just because they ain't telling it, it doesn't mean it ain't happening. <laughs> God is whipping some people. You may not know it, but they're getting whipped, honey. Because he will not share his glory with another. Cover it with suits and, and hair and makeup. And cars, but they're getting whipped in secret places. The Bible said it got hot. Because you see, when you don't want God, you can't handle his presence. Only those of us who want God can stand up under it. <laughs> and sometimes we can't hardly stand up under it. It's only when you want to live right. You don't mind rocking and reeling. 
You don't mind bucking and bending. You don't mind standing up all night long in your house coat and just wave to him in your house. You don't mind parking your car and waving your hand and go to tell him how much you love him because the presence of God is pleasure. What's pain to somebody else is pleasure to you. And there are many church people that hate the presence of God. As soon as God starts moving, they get agitated. Go to the bathroom. Got to leave. As long as it's comfortable, they'll sit and listen. But when God starts doing unusual stuff, like breaking the back of the enemy, like loosing a prostitute, like delivering a drug dealer, Ishabasavoske, the behind Savai. And there's a drug dealer in here tonight. And the Holy Ghost said, I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to pull you out of it. Can I get somebody to help me? Come on and help me praise Eva. Oyamo. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him. I need to hear your praise him. There's a praise. There's a praise, praise.